Hey guys, what's going on? So this is day two of my 100 days of code um, vlog, I guess. So today I learned um, about if else statements and elf if statements, else if statements, I should say, and uh, nesting if else statements within other if else statements. The book also kind of previewed a bit of, um, I don't believe exactly, oh, switch statements, I believe is what they're called. So if you're using a lot of if else statements, it might be better to use a switch statement. It didn't really talk about that, but it kind of previewed that it was gonna go over that in the next chapters or so. Um, anyway, so I did run into a bit of an issue, which was nice to resolve near the end of it, which was I was kind of dealing with this model that it had of like you created a fictitious town and it had a certain population and you could change the integer uh, to increase or decrease the population size. But um, I was using a lot of if else statements to print out a message, which essentially said like, if the population is between this and this, print this out. And if it's between that and that, print that out. Well, I kept getting the message to print out uh, the same thing. And what I learned was, is that, or I guess what I really kind of, yeah, I guess learned, which is that you need to make sure to have your curly brackets with inside of your if else statement. So therefore you can make sure that the console is printing out the, the, you know, the information that you need. So that was the issue for me. I had to resolve it. It was, um, you know, kind of frustrating uh, at first, but once you resolve it and figure it out, you know, it's a relief to figure out that frustration. So uh, really happy about that. Uh, but this has been day two of my 100 days of code vlog. And yeah, just kind of making this vlog to keep myself honest. And if you happen to see it, cool. Maybe comment if you don't. Well, I guess you never saw it. So anyway, take it easy. Peace.